Hello, this is Dave Major. Good morning. Sorry, I had a uh, long trip weekend, so you're getting this Thursday morning. We talked about putting away childish things, and the first chapter was the hidden child of all of us, and this is about healing the memories. So I'll get right to it. Basically, King David struggled with that, even in the Bible. Um, who can understand his errors? Cleanse, cleanse thou me from my secret faults. We all have secret faults. Keep back thy servant from presumptuous sin, and let not it have dominion over me, that I may be upright and innocent of the great transgression. So when we look at this, we're going to talk about the subconscious mind. Everyone has faults. Everyone has secrets or private light. But God knows all. God knows all that. So the subconscious mind. Um and they refer to it as not only the subconscious mind, but perhaps the preconscious mind. The unconscious, here's the, get this. The unconscious is um, a desc the descriptive word attempting to portray the depths of your personality. Because I, he said, I believe to overemphasize the unconscious is to find an excuse and ex escape from responsibility of, of our own wrong behavior. So we try to use it as, as an excuse, as an escape, but that's where it's very deep. Remember I always say you gotta go deep? Whatever the subconscious level of your mind, the fact that you will ever, you'll never forget anything you experience. It might crop up, but you'll never forget it. But you can forgive yourself for that or the others. I apologize, sorry. Although you may never be able to recall it at will, okay, anything that ever crossed your path lives in your memory. It is filled with the storeroom of your mind. This is both wonderful and terrible. So, it is both misery and grandeur of a being human. It's part of our humanity of being a human being, and um, it could be good, it could be bad. I I take I tend to take when I think of those bad times in my life as a time to be look around, be grateful for where I am today, and I know you will be too. So, anyways, remember you never forget anything that crosses your path, but use it as a catapult to move you forward and to come from a broken home and then to make a commitment to never have a broken home. I didn't do that on my own. I had God's help. So. All right, so count of three, let's get your game face on. And those things come up, be thankful, stop, drop, and pray and say thank you that I am where I am and I'm not back there, okay? One, two, three, game face. I do this because you're worth it.